Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the Overpowered Lightning build by Glitch Unlimited. For Vigor, I decided to add 35 points there. Mind 27 because we are going to be using our Ashes of War in some of our spells if we want to. There of course is Endurance 35. This way we can dual wield two of those Duelist Axe. Then for Strength, we have it at 40. You might be wondering why is this lower? Well, because actually with the Duelist, it does scale higher with Dexterity. And on the other side of the coin, if you do use the Duelist Axe, it does scale lower when it comes down to Strength. And I believe it's at a grade D. This is why the Strength is at 40 points and Dexterity is at 60. Make sure that you do have both of those Axes with the Lightning Affinity. You can mix it up. You could possibly have one with Bleed or even possibly one with cold. It's really just up to you and how you wanna experiment with it. I actually tried both and it's quite fun. So with that being said, let's continue on here. Intelligence is at seven, of course, because why does it need to be any higher if we're just using incantations? Faith is at 52, this way we can use the dragon incantations as well as the golden vow to increase our damage. And last but not least, you do want to leave Arcane low, so if you have it set to its default uh, points, then leave it as it is. We need to talk about how this build is used and what damages are being inflicted. First and foremost, Flox Canvas Talisman and Faithful Canvas Talisman can stack. I don't know if you guys skip past that, but I'll just mention it once more. The Flox Canvas Talisman is going to give you an 8% increase in damage when you do use your incantations with that being applied with the other talisman aka faithful canvas talisman this will increase your damage by four percent when using incantations when you have both equipped this is going to give you a 12 percent increase in damage then we head over towards shard of alexander this is going to increase your damage by 15 percent when you use your skill I do want to say that you can swap out this next talisman. This is going to be the Axe Talisman. This increases your charged attacks by 10%. You can swap this out for the Lightning Scorpion Charm. This talisman right here is quite useful. It does increase your damage by 12%, yet on the other hand, there is a negative to it because you're going to be receiving 10% extra physical damage. This is just one of those things, right? You have their negatives and positives, and this is one of those talismans. And this can actually help out quite a lot when it comes down to using your skill. He doesn't actually say what level he is overall, but he's level 188. He starts off with 35 Vigor. Having Vigor that low at 188 is very impressive, actually, because that is super hard to do. You do not want Vigor that low, obviously. As you can see in even his footage, he struggles quite heavily with actually taking damage. 27 mind is okay. 35 endurance is alright. 40 strength is unnecessary. To wield the duelist great axe, you need 30 strength. And to go up to 40, you're only gaining a few points of damage. You would be better off investing it into dexterity. Speaking of dexterity, he has 60 dexterity. I don't know why he has 60 dexterity. The Lightning soft cap is 50, and the Duelist Great Axes don't actually scale that well with Dexterity to begin with. And then 52 Faith. 60 Faith is the soft cap for spell buff, so there's no point to going lower, especially when your stats are spread so thin. For my improved build, we have 60 Vigor, because that's the Vigor soft cap. We have 16 Mind. Mind is just a dump stat. So, since we're already meeting the soft caps on our other stats, we're just investing those last two points into it. We have 80 dexterity, and so that's going to be the dexterity soft cap for Keen, and that's going to give us the best damage on our Venomous Fang. Then we also have 80 faith for Electrify Armament, that's going to give us the best lightning damage. For armor, we have Omen Spark Mask, Fingerprint Armor Altered. Gold Bracelets, and Crucible Greaves. That's going to give us 51 Poise, which is very important in PvE. For Talismans, we have the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, Millicent's Prosthesis, Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman, and Lightning Scorpion Charm. And so that's going to 
increase our survivability, and increase our damage output. For the Great Rune, we have Radon's Great Rune because that is the only Great Rune you really need in PvE. And for the Crystal Tier, we have Applying Heart Tier and Lightning Sharding Crack Tier. Again, increasing our damage while also increasing our survivability.